Your blood type partly determines your heart disease risk. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. An amazing study in 2012, which was really analyzing two of the largest studies that we've had to date, the, the Nurses Health Study and the Health Professionals Follow-Up Study, showed that your blood type is actually uh, a factor in your overall uh, risk for having heart disease over your lifetime. So these were the findings of the, the Nurses Health Study, which has been following about 62,000 female nurses for many years, and also the Health Professionals Follow-Up Study, following over 20,000 male health practitioners. So these studies have been going on for a long time, and they've been looking for links between lifestyle and disease and other blood markers in disease, you know, high homocysteine or low vitamin B6 or high cholesterol or other factors. But most recently, we've seen that there's this other link, and that is that your, your blood type seems to be related to your risk of heart disease. So people that have blood type A or blood type B or blood type AB pooled together seem to have about a 23% increased risk for heart disease compared to people who are blood type O. So what does this mean? It, I think what it means now is that if you're blood type A or B or AB, you need to be more vigilant with your diet, your exercise program, your supplementation program, and your stress management to keep your cholesterol and your LDL cholesterol in the ideal range and make sure your blood doesn't get too sticky and form abnormal clots because there's, there's a greater risk. So uh, how, does, how do blood type A and blood type AB and blood type B actually factor into the risk of the disease? Well, if you click on the link below, you can read my short review article on it. It explains how it all works and also explains which blood type is actually the worst of all of them. Uh, you'll also see in that article sort of my uh, link to um, the optimal blood test so you know what should be the ideal range for your cholesterol and LDL cholesterol and so on, and really how to lower your, your risk for heart disease using lifestyle practices to the greatest degree. It's important because cardiovascular disease is still the leading cause of death that we have in our society. So there's no need to be a victim of your blood type or your lifestyle. You can take charge of these things by reducing your overall risk through lifestyle management. So if you click on the link below, you can read my short review article. You can also, you'll see underneath this video, you can, uh, there's a, you can f download uh, my free ebook on how to reduce your risk of, of heart attack and stroke using diet and lifestyle practices. Because cardiovascular disease is such a significant problem, I, I would encourage everyone to download that ebook and understand what you can be doing for yourself proactively. It's information that everyone should know. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers, you'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and videos and resources I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references. So you'll see you're only getting evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.